Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Saturday the 6th of March. Um, it seems like on Saturdays uh, the Guardian like to give expert level puzzles so uh, we'll get on with it in a moment. Um, what's happening in the news today? Uh, if you're a time traveler from the future looking back at these videos I like to try and say what was happening at this time. Well um, NASA have just released its first video of the Mars rover <coughs> Perseverance traveling around filming itself. Um, pictures are great it's a wonderful thing. Of course the Chinese are also in orbit or were until recently I think they still are in orbit around Mars. Um, does this mean another space race like the one between the US and the Soviets in the 1960s, 70s? Um, I don't know, <laughs> but it's uh, quite interesting anyway. Of course, people will, many people are saying, or, or lots of people suggest that this is huge amounts of money that we need to be spending on people on Earth rather than wasting, as they see it, on space travel. But I mean, I think there is enough money on Earth to solve our problems, but it's just a matter of how we choose to uh, direct our resources. I mean, you know, uh, so much money spent on weapons, etc. Military, um, you know, if you redirected that in a in a more um, let's say ethical manner, we might have a better future for all people on the planet. Let's get on with our expert level Sudoku. Uh, let's look at the puzzle for the first time. So I have no idea um, if we're going to need any tricky techniques today or what we're going to need. Or anything really, so I just have to get on with it. I'm not going to give you the um, oh, the brush seller, traveling brush seller is around, that's what you can hear in the background. I'm not going to give you any explanation about the rules of Sudoku today because if you're playing expert level, you should be okay on the rules. And the first number I can see is in this segment here. This one travels across here, blocking these squares. This one blocks these two squares, so blocking here, blocking here, that's the only possible location for a one so we can write that one in right now uh, do I see any more yep okay there's a nine here isn't there nine across here nine blocking here so that square there has to be a nine okay we could actually find out these um, three numbers uh, okay, there's a 5 here though, I've noticed as well. Look, 5 in this column, 5 in this column here, so that's a 5. Hmm. Ah! I've just seen something interesting. We can find this number here for sure. Uh, would you like to know how? I hope so. Uh, well, we have 5 and 8 uh, here in this row, and we have a 5 and 8 in this row. So that means that 5 and 8 are blocked from here, 5 and 8 are blocked from here. So we have a pair of 5 and 8. I'm going to write this in. Now, normally I don't write in candidates quite so early, but I want to demonstrate something here. Um, and it is an expert level puzzle, so we're expecting to write in candidates anyway. Uh, when we have 5 and 8 like this, we know that that is exclusive, so it's either 5, it's either 8, everything else, other things we can forget now uh, about these two squares. So all other numbers must fit into these four squares. Now we can work out what's missing here, right? We have 1, 2, we don't have 3, we don't have 4, 5, 6. 3, 4 and 6 are our missing numbers here. So let's count through here. One, we have two, oh, so that has to be a two, right? Three, four, six is along here, so that has to be a two. So that's how we find that number there. I hope that made sense. Hmm, it's being noisy out there. Very noisy. There is a huge truck trying to turn in the road where I live, which is a very small road. That's the noise. And the 
Rashsala is still plying her wares outside. Commercial salesperson, I guess. Um, all right. Um, do, 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 do. I can see lots of pairs already. I'm um, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, this has to be a two because we're two. There's two blocks here, two blocks here, and two blocks here. So blocking here, blocking here, and blocking across there. So that's a two. Uh, in this row here, we don't yet have a four, but I see four blocking this square here, four blocking this square here. That's the only possible place where a four can go. Ah, I think I should be able to find this one here. So there's a one in this column here, one down here. So blocking and blocking. Um, and blocking across here. But this one down here means that one is going to appear here or here, right? Got that? Uh, if, let's look at this segment first. So this one blocks down here, this one blocks here. So one and one has to be here. So we're actually blocking across here, across here, down there. So that's our location for a one in that segment. I see a lot of pairs. I think I'm just going to start filling in candidates as it happens because uh, uh, it is supposed to be an expert level puzzle. So you know, I'm expecting to do it at some point. I think um, it will just make things go along more smoothly. So let's have this four down here, four down here, and four across here. So in this column, four is a pair in these two locations here. Um, uh, let's get these things done. Right? So uh, seven across here. Seven is seven blocks this square. So seven is a pair here and here. Three blocks this square. So three is a pair down here like this. This three down in this column, this three down in this column, and this three across the middle means that three must be a pair here or here. Did you get that? We have two threes in this column here, meaning a three can't appear again in this column. Three is blocked here, and three across the middle, so three and three there. Uh, ones down here, as I mentioned earlier on, we have a pair of ones. Uh, along here. Uh, let's fill in these numbers here. So three, this three blocks here. Uh, the other numbers were four and six, I believe. Four and six. We don't have any intersecting fours and sixes, so I'm going to put them down here. I'm going to put them in the bottom right of the cell. I'm putting pairs in the top left uh, just to indicate that it's a pair. Seven down here, seven down here, sevens going in that place there. Seven has to be a pair here or here, I hope you notice. There's seven blocks here, seven blocks here. So that means in this row we don't yet have sevens, and so seven has got to be either there or there. Uh, nine down here, nine down here, so two possible locations in this segment for nine. 
two, this I think is going to be useful, two down here and two across here. So that means a pair of twos running here. And when we do that, we'll see two across, two across. So that means a pair, two, two. And that's great because if we have seven as a pair in these two squares and two as a pair in these two squares, nothing else can exist. And so the three that we had there before, we can now remove. And we know that was one of a pair, so we can write it in. And we're overwriting a four part of a pair, so we can write the other four in there. Um, okay, seven, two. Um, so, also this is going to be a pair of sixes along here, right? There's six blocks here. We don't even have a six in this column, so six has to be a pair in those locations there. Six. This six blocks this square here, so a pair of sixes here and here. I'm doing this fairly randomly. I usually do. It's just my own style of playing Sudoku, I guess. Uh, this four across here. I'm, I'm just going to put in a triple here. I know I'm, I am really looking for pairs, but while I notice this four, I'm going to put it in just to help me remember as I as I've seen it. <clears throat> uh, one up here, one up here, and this one blocks here. So one is a pair either here or here. Ah, five across here, five across here, and five down here, meaning five is a pair here or here. We're finding a lot of pairs here. Mm. Oh, of course, I should have seen it. Three across, the three that we filled in now runs across here, and this three across here. So that's the only possible location for a three now. So we can fill that number in. Ah, that's good. We must know this number now because we have seven and two pair here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we have an eight? Not yet. So that's our eight. We can fill that in. And if we bring that up, we'll notice we had a pair of five or eight. So the eight is here and the five is here. Uh, let's extend that five up, five in this column, five in this column, this five blocks here. So we have a pair of fives here and here. Oh, I've been very slow to notice something here. I should have seen this before. This eight in this column here, look means an 8 has to appear here. I should have seen this before, really, but that's just how it is. Sometimes uh, the glaringly obvious um, seems to bypass you. Right, and which is going to be good because we've got 8 across this row, 8 down this column, meaning that has to be 8, and we're overwriting a 9 pair, so that has to be 9. We're overwriting a 1 here, which is part of a pair, so the 1 is here, the 5 is here, the last number in this segment is seven, so we can fill that in now. We had seven as a pair here, seven. I'm overwriting a two, not the four, because the four is not part of a pair, but I am overwriting a two. I can do that now. But now we only have one location where a four can go, so we can fill that in. And now we can put in the missing number, which is six. And uh, what we need to do is remember to remove candidate six uh, in this column. Uh, we can also find that this is 6, because now 6 blocks this square. We know that's 7 or 2, so these two are the other two numbers. So 6 is here. The last number is 9. Um, okay, let's bring this 9 up, this 9 up. So we have a pair of 9s in this column in those two spaces, spaces there. Did I say spaces? That's a new word. Um... Okay, going quite well. Uh, <laughs> there we are. This is 
this is uh, this is this happens to me in Sudoku. Sometimes I think, what, uh, what, how on earth did I do that? I wrote seven and two as a parent here, not even noticing that the two is right there. Look, right next to it. I've put seven and two as a plus, as a as a as a pair, a by value pair. And guess what? There was a two stuck right there, right in front of my nose. How silly. Of course, that's our seven, that's our two. What a foolish thing. But, you know, as I say, uh, the glaringly obvious is just sometimes right there and I don't notice it. The missing number from this column is now eight. I think it must happen because I'm focusing my concentration away in a different area at the time and just forget to look in that position or something. This number has to be two, two up here, two up here. We don't have a two in that column yet, so there it goes. There's one number left in this column. It is a seven. We had it as a candidate before, and that is in fact the last number, so we can fill that in. And remember to remove candidate seven here. What is the last number? One, two, three, four, five. It's a six, isn't it? Do we have any sixes? No, it's a six is our last candidate here. Well, let's fill in the last candidate here as well. That's seven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven can go here and here. But it can't, of course, because we've already got an intersecting seven. So we can remove that, put in our seven up here and our nine here. Uh, we have a nine in this square now because nine across this row, nine across this row, up in this column, up in this column, nine is here. So far we haven't needed any expert techniques, and I'll reserve judgment till we get to the end because you never know. Sudoku can get tricky um, instantly sometimes, although I have a feeling it's not going to be because this three runs across this row and this three runs up here. So three is going to be a pair here or here. I'll, I'll write it in. And when we do that, you'll see that it removes this three here so three comes here. There is only one number left here as a candidate now. That's four. And so the six comes here. This is the six is the last number in this um, column. Okay. Um what else am I missing? Uh, okay, let's let's do it up here. So um, the other missing number from this column is four, and we have a four in the middle. So using the trick that I said before, five four five four. What does it mean? It means no other number can exist. So the one candidate that we had written in here before, we can now remove and put that in there. Um, this square is now a one, so one up here, one up here, and one blocking here. So the final one in the Sudoku grid today goes in. Um, let's find out these missing numbers as well. So we have one, do we have a two yet? No, we don't. But we have an intersecting two, look at that. Three, two, so whatever number is left has to come in here. We can find it by looking along the column here, or we can find it within the segment. It's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have an eight. It has to be an eight. And as I said, you could just count down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an eight. Um, when we see two squares like this remaining, and we have the two numbers in already, we know that this has to be the same. So if this is five, four, this is five, four, it's a, it's a time saver. OK, um, you could count through. You don't need to because you know there are only two squares missing. When you see that this five intersects here, we understand that can't be five. So this has to be five and this has to be four. And also up here, that's our four. Uh, I wrote three and two in here, but actually, again, I've got an intersecting two here. I'm not paying full attention. Two goes here, three goes here. Didn't waste too much time on that though. Um, okay, so there's just a few candidates left to fill in. Uh, let's do it. 
what's missing from here? 3 and 4. So 3 blocks is blocked by this square here. So 3 is a pair here and here. Uh, 4 is... oh, 4. 4 blocks. Okay, 4 is blocked here and 4 is blocked here. So that's our 4. That's our 3 and that's our 6. One number left to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's an 8, so we don't yet have an 8, we'll fill that in. When we do, we'll realise that's our 8, that's our 6. One number missing, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's a 5, isn't it? Okay, 5 to go here. Uh, what numbers are missing now? 3 is missing here, this 3 intersects, so 3 comes here. Uh, 6 is the last number, I believe. Yep, 6 down here. Oh, we've got a couple numbers to get here, 6 across. That's a six. That's our three. Ooh. Well, there's no way that's an expert level puzzle. I'm just going to guess that that's really a medium level puzzle, I'd say. Um, not harder than medium level. Uh, dear Sudokens, please subscribe to the channel because we will together try to promote Sudoku, uh, the game of logic, to people who are not from the planet Sud Sud Sudoku or who don't play a lot of Sudoku, but, you know, might become interested if they see more of the game. So let's let's uh, subscribe to every Sudoku channel we can find on the internet, and like all Sudoku videos we can find on the internet, everybody's, not just mine, everybody's, and promote Sudoku um, for a more logical world. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, of course, is the Observer. We won't know the level until we get to the end. Um, it's always interesting to see what they're going to put up. Thank you very much, Guardian, today. Thank you, everybody, for listening. See you tomorrow.